There aren't enough options for people to rent apartments or buy houses in Ontario County, according to lifelong resident and county administrator Krista Bolt. We're trying to identify that this is a problem. It's a legitimate problem for both our residents and people who may be looking to potentially relocate here. DeBolt says there are 113,000 residents in Ontario County and counting. Honestly, I think we're going to need more of everything. Ontario County, along with Saratoga County, continue to be the only two upstate counties that continue to grow in population over the last 20 years, and we don't see any slowing to that. And so we're going to need more housing stock in all of those categories that you can think of. That's why DeBolt and his colleagues are doing a housing assessment. It affects every resident and every business in the county, trying to figure out what areas geographically need more housing stock and what we as the government can do to help facilitate that. Those needs include building infrastructure, DeBolt says. More houses, more apartments, different kinds of houses, different kinds of apartments. For what ages? Do we need more senior housing? Do we need more supportive housing? Business owners like Mary Ellen West of Aubergine, a table and gift store on Main Street in Canandaigua, say it's a good thing and more options for housing means a better situation for employees. Well, anytime you have an influx of new people, that's going to help the tax base, which ultimately is good there. And it's good to keep the stores and the restaurants full, which helps us because, you know, when you spend locally, more money stays locally, you know, and I can hire more staff and, you know, give my staff more hours, everybody be good. Meanwhile, DeBolt explains the county is using a portion of the American Rescue Plan Act funds for the study. They've already done a request for proposals and hired urban partners out of Philadelphia. There will be a ton of county staff time put into this, and then they're the ones kind of running point on it and consolidating everything into the final report. For Finger Lakes One, Rebecca Swift.